Welcome back. I am Sci-Fi Master, and this is American Truck Simulator Episode 40. A lot of things to do. Let's jump into it. Uh, the first thing we have to do is have to hire drivers, driver manager. We are back at Las Vegas. How do I hire drivers? <laughs> it's been a while since I had a driver. Hire drivers. Map. I don't think that's it. Garage. All right, there we go. Everybody got promoted. Everybody's where they're supposed to be. I need four new drivers for my terminal. Simone. Oh, she has hazmat. I like hazmat. Only because I'm a hazmat driver. Simone. The boys. Oh, Emily Z. Emily Z used to be pretty good. Well, there's my picture. That's the picture I used to use I think I think I have him on uh, Euro Truck Simulator. So maybe let's hire so let's hire Simone. Hire Dark Simone. Yes. <laughs> All right. There's one. Like I said, we're gonna hire all the low level drivers. He looks like a an actor I know. Hi, Emily. She always seems to be a good driver. No matter what season I've, I'm playing. There's two. Two more to go. Now, if you wonder how I got Las Vegas, I did off-camera. I did an off-camera drive. <laughs> and so, here we go. And where's, uh... Where's hair? There he is. Manual. All right, man. Man, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of skills. And one more to go. And I should have a lot of skills. Zero point eight. At least yeah. I don't know. Oh, now it's starting to get expensive. Brian F. Back to the bottom. <laughs> he's got two. He's got two. Thomas O. He looks like he needs to be in the Northwest, though. Well, maybe he'll get up there eventually. So, Thomas. Patrick S. He's got three skills. Eric's got two. Matthew P's got three skills. I'm going to go with Matthew. We go with Matthew. He's got skills. All right. Whew. There we go. New table. There we go. Five for five. Five for five. Five for five. Yeah, there we go. Nicely done. Oh wow, Las Vegas. That's us. Productivity, 100%. <laughs> That's mostly because I'm doing all the hard labor, doing the hard stuff. Uh. Salem, man, I tell you what, only 11% efficiency. Carson City, 64, that's pretty good. Uh, let me see, they were number one, they were number two, Phoenix is number three, uh, Sacramento four, and so, yeah, it's going to take a while. All right, let's move on. Let's drive. Because I think I need to take a 10-hour break. I think I'm at the end of my back hours. But Ooh. And I'm tired, yep, so, all right. Uh Or I gotta be inside the garage. The only thing I don't don't like about the simulator. Right, hey, look at that. that. There we go. Take a ten hour break at our garage. The only thing I don't like about the simulator is if I have to do maintenance. Uh, so we're gonna see all that income. We're gonna we're gonna miss all that. It's gonna go away. Uh, let's do. Let's look for external loads. Let's see where we can go from Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Ooh. Longview, Texas. Wow. 67. That that that's a man, that is a long drive. That's gonna be 
an hour episode. That's going to be a longer than an hour episode. And it's going to be at least 45 minutes, even if I edit. <sighs> Got anything closer? So there's 69. Well, that's a little bit closer. Oh, my God. You know, I want to go to Texas, but oh, my goodness. Well, that's definitely not worth it. How about Oklahoma? Man. Albuquerque. Okay. Let's. <laughs> 88. 88 dollars per mile. All right. You know. Uh, let's let's go, let's go to Albuquerque. Uh, you know that was one of my test questions when I was a senior in high school. How to spell Albuquerque? <laughs> it was really was. It was it was a test question. It was on the test. All right. Let's uh let's let's go to Albuquerque. Texas, I want to go to Texas, 95000 but man, at $67 per mile, it's a long one. That, that's going to be a long episode. All right, let's go to Albuquerque. Albuquerque, New Mexico, new drivers, new locations. <laughs> All right, well, hey, we're still going to get, uh, we're still going to get, uh, See what everybody's making. Nice. So, so, uh, so initially I wanted to get to four million by the end of the season, but I don't think that's going to happen. So we're just going to go new locations and we just uh, try to make money as best we can. Uh, we've got drivers out there, and there we go. And you know we're going to fill up because gas is cheap at our lo our uh, headquarters, at our terminals. It's out in the world, it's like five dollars. All right, tank is full. Let's go. Let's go get that trailer and let's head to Albuquerque. Oh, and it's right down the street, too. Uh oh, see, I thought it was somewhere else. I almost jacked that up. All right, back in the cab. Uh, can't do uh, outside view when it's dark. It's really hard to drive the truck that way. So until the sun comes up, which is in four hours. Uh, let's see, even, even in the cab, it's difficult. Is this uh, is it back? Well, you know what? I bet I can't. Uh... Yep. Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> I have to back up. do an episode today, this is Saturday, post it, and I'm going to do one on Sunday, because uh, I'm going to be three weeks on the road after this, so I'm going to try to knock episodes out. trailer right across the grass <laughs> oh my goodness uh, maybe someday when I get famous and have uh, enough uh, income and capital let me get this right hand turn here we waited three seconds that uh, I'll do uh, I see some uh, streamers uh, do the truck portion of it with the gear shift and everything and I can set it up where I've got uh, you know the screens in the front to the left and right and you know basically drive it like a truck I think that would have to be a separate computer 
for that setup. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Hey, look at that. The interstate's right there. Nicely done. All right. Uh, give these drivers a chance. We've got four new drivers. Uh, five terminals. Five times five is 25 drivers. That's a lot of drivers. And they're making decent money. I think by the time I get to, uh, oh, look at that, 10 hours. Is that enough time? Oh, 13 hours. Oh, yeah, definitely going to get it done in this episode. I'm uh, going to get to Albuquerque and then take another 10 hour break. I think with 25 drivers, we should be able to get a quarter million dollars a day easy, I would think. Okay, yellow light. Thanks, man. Thanks. Just trying to get to Albuquerque. I'd like to thank everybody that watches my videos and subscribes. Uh, yesterday was a crazy day in the little sci-fi world uh, universe on YouTube. It's a, it was it was it was a crazy day. That those were able to attend the live, the morning morning version it was it was it was great great man that's green light right green arrow god i hope so all right make this turn that's a flat bed so i didn't check the weight but i'm sure the weight's very light to be able to knock this out so as we're not going to california we're getting speed 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 oh my gosh on an interstate off interstate come on man where are we going 95 North, US 95 North. Okay. Is that? Oh, I missed it. It's supposed to be the underpass. God bless America. All right, I guess we're going to take the scenic route. Dang. I'm not wearing my glasses, so that's why I missed it. That's why I missed the turn. And most of the time when I miss the turns, it's because I'm not wearing my glasses when I'm trying to record the episodes. Alright. Is it... I need to be the right? I think I need to be the right. Oh my god. Alright, nothing like pushing the limits of your time needed. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the high beams on until 4 a.m. I don't care if you're in front of me or not. Come around, try one more time. You can see. Or if I could take the left turn and get there. I have the same problem in real life trucking. Not missing turns, but the GPS says this is the best way, and it's not the, t it's not the best way. So, like, I have to go to this place down in South Carolina on Monday, and it wants me to take all the back roads. Oh, my God. Which I'm sure is fine, but the safer bet is actually on the interstate. Oh, we got to go back through town. We're going right back around through town. Okay. <laughs> well, more commentary then. Lucky you. Lucky us. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to be able to get by him. I'm going to be able to get by him. I see Susanna made money. I didn't see how much. Ooh, ooh there we go. Come on. I got to get that green arrow. <laughs> there we go. Whew. Nicely done. All right, back around. Try one more time. This time under the overpass, not over the overpass. <laughs> Back where we started, man. <laughs> uh, I definitely want to go to Las Vegas. It's on my bucket list in real life to go to Las Vegas. And what I really want to do uh, is I want to do uh, World, the World Series. Is that it? Okay. Oh, green Arrow again. All right. Uh, I want to do uh, the World Series of Poker Championship. 
Of course, if you do the tour, there's a chance that you can win. You know, it's, I think it costs $3,500. There's like 12 events, maybe more, that you can do. You know, try to get in for free, or you just pay $10,000. Under the underpass, not over the overpass. There we go. Now we're on it. Now we're good. What's our time at? Uh, 12 hours, 42 minutes before we take a break. 10 hours, 27 minutes to get to the location. So, I really want to go to the World Series of Poker. And, uh... How you doing, sir? I wasn't speeding yet. Uh, so, yeah, I'd really try... I really want to do the World Series of Poker at least once, and hopefully, you know, hopefully place. You know, uh, of course, you usually can't place until day two because um, it's usually the three to five day event. And uh, back in the popularity, you know, was it about a decade ago? You know, between five and ten years ago, it got really, really popular. And uh, I was playing uh, Texas Hold'em online, and I was trying to qualify for tournaments online, um, and I was watching it, and it, it was really great. I really wanted to be a part of it, and just, you know, still in the military or working hard. It's hard to do that. So, but one day, with the lottery, I'm all over it, man. I think I have to come over here once. Man, I need to, uh... There we go. And that's how you get rid of them. Alright, I think we're ready to go to light speed now. I think we're ready to go. Yes. After this turn. Alright. Alright. Well, we'll see you just outside of Albuquerque. Everybody enjoys the light speed. And here we go.
dropping down on light speed because we're in Albuquerque. Wow, and we're still 40 miles away from our destination. <laughs> that is crazy. Ooh. Better pay attention so I don't miss a turn. All the way right, right. Okay. Nicely done, nicely done. So getting back to right before light speed, uh, yeah, so bucket list is uh, real life to go to Las Vegas and one day uh, compete in the World Series of Poker. Now if that ever comes to light, man, I will let you guys know so you guys can follow and cheer me on. Uh, but that is, uh, that is one of my goals is to do that. Uh, then to the subject that we were talking about, uh, so when I was taking my 10-hour break in my garage, so the only thing I don't like about uh, this truck simulator is that you own a garage, multiple garages, and you cannot fix your truck at your own garage. You know, what's the point of having a garage? Because you have to go to a dealership or another trucking dealership to get your truck fixed you know and why is it there why can't I get my truck fixed at my at my own shop because I have my own shop I got my own truck you know so so that's the only thing that I can think about this simulator that I don't like off the top of my head um, because you know the tires wear down or whatever and you know of course occasionally I get a little fender bender you know and and then I've got to wait and, or, you know, get to some place that has a garage in town or whatever. And, you know, like you saw, I came through that uh, wait station and it said, uh, oh, hey, your truck is not in pristine condition. Oh, this green light, okay. You know, so if you know, I actually was able to do maintenance at my own garage before I rolled out I would have been pristine I would have been fine and I wouldn't have got a negative comment from the state troopers <laughs> so so that's the only thing I don't like about uh, the simulator is that you can't fix your trucks at your own headquarters or your own uh, places that you you own you have to go find a dealership along your route or someplace you know and get it fixed there which so but anyway so that's enough of that so, but Albuquerque, welcome, welcome, we are in Albuquerque, and my, my avatar is now getting tired. Just yawned. Yeah, man, it was a wee bit of a drive. Uh, and the team only made, uh, like, $25,000. Of course, it is daylight, you know, it's noon. Uh, so, and what we'll probably do is, uh, Probably take a look at the map real quick after we complete this, just to see where all the drivers are. Uh, see if we were close to seeing anybody on the road. I have yet to see a driver that's part of my company and drive by them. You know, so one day that should happen. I'm sure once I get a hundred drivers, and we're all in the same area. All right, run the stop sign. after we drop this off we're going to have to find a place to take a 10 hour break because yeah an hour 50 yeah so do that off camera find our next rest point and here we go Ooh, nice nice big area and what does it say Ooh. hmm yeah I bet that's backing in that's pull forward. Well, you know, uh, let's try backing in. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, uh, so this episode, before I modify it, edit it, is over 50 minutes long. And if we had gone to Texas, uh, it would definitely have been 90 minutes or longer before editing. Um, it would have been a very long episode. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back up. All right, we're going to turn to the right. So we have to back up to the left, so we have to turn the wheel to the right. Just like that. And now we follow.
all up behind it. We let it go. We missed it. So to back it up, you see I had to pull forward, so that's to get the wheels on the trailer straight. nice boom so not too bad a little close to the other trailer but uh it's pretty decent about how i do it in real life <laughs> barking challenge 17 out of 20 nicely done Ooh, leveled up nicely done uh, good xp um uh, miles about 91 gallons uh, about almost half a tank and 57,000 total uh, level 40 is King of the Road, which is the next achievement, and we're only at level 34. <laughs> so, all right, let's take a uh, driver manager, and let's view the map. Let's see where everybody is. Oh, wow, look, uh, Betts, she's a senior trainer, senior truck driver out of uh, Phoenix. Oh, she's right down the road from me. Oh, where, where is she going? She's going to Arizona. Oh, she's going all the way up to Colorado. Wow. So uh, the load that the initial load was going to have us go all the way to Longview, I think. Yeah, all the way to Longview. Whew. Man, that would have been forever. Uh, but there we go. There's a driver. And then where's everybody else? Uh, in blue means they're sleeping. Green means they're driving. And uh, yeah, see, so a lot of drivers. Well spread out. A lot of cargo and everything. So well done for her. And a bump you table. Let's see, someone, someone leveled up. Was it? I'm trying to remember. Sure, is in there. Tina, I think Tina leveled up. Oh, she, Tina, she leveled up, and she's balanced. I think everybody should balance your uh, balanced. Wow, she uh, scarlet there. She's out of Sacramento. Sacramento. All right, so let's see. Tina's part of my new team out of Phoenix. Here's out of Phoenix. And Georgia Phoenix. Wow, look at that. She's killing it. 1.7, wow. Definitely killing it. And Betts is killing it out of Phoenix. Oh, that's Phoenix. Okay, wait, that's Phoenix. I'm thinking Las Vegas. Duh. There we go. <laughs> All right, there's the rookies. All right, Matthew. Okay, he's doing... Nice, nice. Yeah, everybody's now nah, doing great. Outstanding, everyone. Well done. Uh, so 860,000, so almost 100,000 since I picked up that load. Uh, I hope they do better. So seven day profit is 877,000. So as they progress, we will get a million dollars every seven days. Uh, one day we'll get a million dollars a day. I guess we're not at that point yet. So, but there it is. Episode 40, new drivers, new locations. Man, what an adventure. So thank you for being the Force because the Force is my co-pilot. The Force is always with me means you are always with me. So I've been your host, Sci-Fi Master, and this has been American Truck Simulator. So until next time, take care, have fun. We'll see you on the next. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.